And some of you uh, oldsters in the audience, and I'm one of them now. I my readers. <laughs> It's depressing. Some of you will remember that I worked in this region and lived here in the mid to late 1990s. Believe it or not, I worked for the Seattle Times, which some of you may affectionately call now the Seattle Crimes. Uh, and uh, so much of what I learned about how liberal institutions function, I learned from my tour of duty here in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, and I have lived and worked across the country. I have made many friends here that I keep in touch with. One of them, my dear friend, Kirby Wilbur. Yes, he couldn't make it this morning, uh, but I am so grateful to him for spreading the word about this gathering. I'm so grateful that each and every single one of you made the conscious decision to come out here and get off the sidelines, yeah. stand with ICE, yeah. and yeah. with America. Yeah. 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 Do you all want a sanctuary nation? No! no. Never, never. Do you stand for a sovereign nation? Yeah. Yeah. Well, that makes you a white supremacist just oh. like me. <laughs> <laughs>
who was a protege of an open society foundations. Yes, we know who that is. Hungarian billionaire George Soros. Oh, you said his name. That makes you an anti-Semite, just like me. It doesn't matter that I'm married to the grandson of Ukrainian Jews. I'm a Jew hater for pointing out the dots and collecting and connecting them uh, about all of the billions of dollars that George Soros is spending to erase our borders. One of his pro one of his Open Societies Foundation officers trained the New Jersey State Attorney General who just declared his entire state a sanctuary state. A safe space for criminal aliens and illegal aliens. You've got to do everything in your power to prevent Washington State from becoming the next sanctuary state. In Open Borders Inc., I have a map that is incredibly important for every citizen, especially those with families in this country. 564 declared sanctuary cities, counties, and states. Are we a sanctuary nation? No! no. Are we a sovereign nation? Yes! Well, it's not gonna happen on its own, and I know that's why each and every single one of you are here, and it takes a, an incredible amount of courage to stand here. I see people of all ages, and I was so inspired by the example of the Proud Boys who have been smeared and who've been defamed by so many of those open borders radicals, journalists, right? The journalists, they're not journalists. They're common They're operatives. They're, liars. <laughs> they are operatives who spread propaganda and lies. Proud the weasel. people who put a little girl on the cover of Time magazine with Trump towering over her. You remember that? Yes. She was supposed to be the poster child, Yanela Sanchez, <laughs> of separated families. And then we come to find out she hadn't been separated by her mother, by the mean, evil, supremacist, KKK, Border Patrol, or ICE. No, but the mother had essentially kidnapped the little girl and failed to tell the father back home in Central America, who ended up telling an actual journalist that their life was pretty fine, and he did not agree with the mother recklessly endangering the life of that child. Lies, lies, lies. The mainstream media lies. This is why I spent the last eight months writing Open Borders, Inc. It is the longest of the seven books that I've ever written, and it's the third in what I call my Star Wars trilogy of immigration books. Um, and it was mentioned that I, the other book that I wrote was called Sold Out. And the first one was the title of, uh, of, of a book that I wrote in the aftermath of the September 11th terrorist attack, which apparently I, I have learned now is a trigger word. Invasion. You can all say it. Invasion. Invasion. This is being live streamed on my uh, Twitter page to more than 2.1 million followers, which is suppressed and shadow banned. But we don't care. We're gonna get out there anyway. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and uh, you know, every day I wake up and my goal is to trigger. <laughs> and no, I am not inciting violence. I am trying to incite peace. I'm trying to incite fellow Americans to do what every single one of you, of you have done today. Get up off the sidelines. Yes, and I want to yeah. echo what's been said before. That means getting out to the ballot box. Yes. And it means oh, yeah. making sure that we have people who are, who are committed to sovereignty at every level of government. Because President Trump can't do it. <laughs> the wall that he is building and the wall that's being privately subsidized is extraordinary. If any of you are familiar with the We Build the Wall organization. Yeah. 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 Demonstration of how citizens DIY, do it yourself, right? Yeah. All of the intransigence and the paralysis that we see in the Beltway Swamp is the result of two forces. It's not just George Soros. It is the Koch brothers. It is the Libre Initiative, which is a in trying to obliterate the difference between legal and illegal immigration. There's a difference. There's a difference. Uh, and we've got so many of these feckless, feckless is a perfect word, isn't it? Yeah. Senate Republicans who are doing everything they can, not just to stab President Trump in the back, but to stab the American people. The American it, only hurts. it only hurts Americans. Yeah. Did you see these 11 Senate 
Republicans who voted this week to reject the emergency order at the border that President Trump had sponsored. Replace them. That's right. People like Lamar Alexander. Uh, I mean, the, the encrusted barnacles on the USS Beltway need to be removed. Yeah. Yes. I'd say put them on trial. It's frustrating when you think about all of the forces that we are up against. And that is what Open Borders Inc. seeks to chronicle. Once you have that information, you will be armed. Uh-oh, another trigger word. <laughs> armed with the information that you need to fight back. It was mentioned that we have Antifa. And um, in the book, I have a chapter called The A-Team. This is not the good one. This is the bad A-Team. Of Antifa, Abolish ICE, and the Sanctuary Anarchists. And it is this iron triangle that is inciting violence against the men and women who wear uniforms and put themselves on the line every day to guard against immigration anarchy. So they're working inside, they can't hear us, but I want them to be able to go home and tune on social media and hear us tell them, Thank, Thank you! you.
generous benefits for illegal aliens, elevating them above American citizens, no. there is something wrong. Oh, yep. yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And there is something <laughs> fundamentally wrong with the media. They do not tell the truth. No. Their goal is the same goal as the Never Trumpers in the Republican Party, the Koch brothers, George Soros, La Raza, every single law school in America that uh, trains these pro bono lawyers who go down to the border holding Know Your Rights seminars for illegal aliens wow. who've been coached to manufacture asylum stories, right. making a joke of the most precious asylum system in America. Right. And then what do they do? They elevate the Statue of Liberty poem as if that etched in stone is our constitution? No, it isn't. Sorry, not no a it's not. Bigger, it, give it back to France. <laughs> <laughs> there is a little motto on the Statue of Liberty, and it says that America is liberty enlightening the world. We are that torch. We are that city on the shining hill. Yeah. It doesn't say liberty resettling the entire world. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't Saving say liberty world. absorbing every last willing worker in the world. There are limits to compassion. And when you talk about immigration, here is what's incredibly important. What does it mean to be sovereign? It means to be able to have the authority and control, the self-determination to decide who comes into the country, what numbers they should be, where they're from, and if we detect that somebody doesn't belong here, agreement on enforcing the laws to get yeah. them out of here to yeah. protect yes. ourselves. Yeah. Yeah. Why? Why is it that we're not allowed to say that out loud? Again, it's not an accident. It's all orchestrated. And I talk about this in Open Borders Inc., an entire chapter on the most machine in America, the Southern Poverty, Poverty Law Center. Yeah. So many of these organizations are either directly or indirectly subsidized by George Soros. But again, he couldn't do it alone. Why is it that when the Republicans were in power, that they squandered the ability to investigate these tax-exempt nonprofit charities that are political propagandists and character assassins? Because they weren't really why did we stop at Acorn? Right? There was that, that one shining moment where Acorn was defunded. We've got to defund the entire infrastructure of open borders. I want to leave on a positive and constructive note. I've talked about how writing this book living the privileged, blessed life that I have in America, worrying about my own kids' future, uh, and wanting to ensure that they have had all the blessings that can do even more than my uh, husband and I did, and our parents and, and our grandparents. Getting off the sidelines is so important. And doing what we can in our own lives. Start small. Here's an easy thing. Stop giving Hollywood your money. Yeah. <laughs> As I talk about an Open Borders Inc., they turn it around like Chrissy Teigen and John yeah. Legend, yeah. who live in their own walled yeah. compound, yeah. do. By guns. And yeah. then, yeah. right, they want to take our guns and they want to impose the bloody consequences of open borders on the rest of us. Hollywood They've sucks. got their yep. uh, gated sucks. security, they've got Arm their armed yeah. security yeah. guards, yeah. Yeah. bulletproof yeah. windows, yeah. and then they turn around and use the money that we give to them to donate millions of dollars to the American Civil Liberties Union and Tides Foundation funded philanthropic organizations like the Young Center, which is bringing illegal alien cases all the way up to the Supreme Court. Would any other sane, sovereign nation around the world do such a thing? No. no. Subsidize abortions for illegal aliens, uh, subsidize their welfare, their employment benefits? And where does all the money that so many of these illegal aliens are reaping go into the collection plates of religious organizations that are every bit as hell-bent on erasing our sovereignty as the left is. I called out the U.S. Conference of Catholic Bishops, Lutheran immigrant and 
refugee services, taxpayer funded refugee resettlement profiteers who are now all whining, accusing President Trump of being heartless for reducing refugee resettlement numbers because we can't get control of it. It's fraud ridden. There are many refugee jihadis, refugee jihadis, refugee jihadis, exploiting our compassion to plot more mass terror on us under the guise of claiming political or religious persecution. It's a farce. It needs to stop. And when we know that the people who are complaining the loudest are explicit members of the anti-Trump resistance, this isn't about compassion. This isn't about justice. This is about money and it's about power and control. And we need to rise up. We need to take responsibility to regain control and to regain power and make sure that the people that we send to the Beltway Swamp remember why they were sent there in the first place. We've got so many incredible people on the front lines exposing these insiders of violence. And uh, as I was putting the book to bed to get it to the printer this summer, this happened. Another thing happened, and I know that each and every one of you are familiar with my friend Andy No. Yes. yes. He wasn't the only one who has been the victim of violence, but it opened a lot of eyes to see literal blood being spilled. And the fact that you are all here, despite that threat to everyone, it's not just people who are high profile, and you have seen memory, many members of the Trump administration <coughs> Uh, Fox personalities like Tucker Carlson who has, has had their private homes targeted. We are all targets now. And we have to show no fear. No, no, no fear. 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 Right. We're the ones that have no hate. No hate. No. Right. No hate. We love this country. Right. And we have to do whatever we can to stand up and defend it. I know it's a busy day. I know a lot of uh, folks are heading over to the Husky football game. And, and I'm so grateful that, you know, whatever else that you have in your lives, that you decided that it was important enough to come here and stand with me and stand with ICE and stand with America. God bless you.